It's the Morning Brew with friends. We really have a packed show today on, on the Morning Brew. We got Alex from the Rail Yards here to be talking about the winter market. We got Joshua and Angie, their TEDx youth speakers, talking about what they're going to be talking about. Michael Weintraub, a photographer, with John Nichols on the show today. We got folks from Brentley County talking about a new drug prevention program, and we have folks from the Via de Oro National Wildlife Refuge and performances all day on the Morning Brew with friends. All right, we're back on the Morning Brew with friends, and this is great. We got John Nichols in our buddy, and you're the noms manager, as <laughs> yeah. well as many other things, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And you brought in your friend Michael here. Yes, sir. And Michael, you're working, you're in town to photograph some local bands. Yeah, exactly. Um, John, we met at the, a concert industry convention in Nashville, and he hired me to come in and do some new photography for the Noms, which is a, a local man here in town. They're one of our favorites here on the show. We've also got a video that you sent us. Why don't we play that? Because it's pretty awesome. It explains what you do and how you do it. Hello, my name is Michael Weintraub. I've been a photographer in the music business for almost 20 years. And over this time, I've had the opportunity to photograph over 400 musicians for my own personal project called Instrument Head. It's been an amazing journey. And along the way, I believe that I've been able to find my voice as an artist. Now, I would like to share Instrument Head with everyone by putting out my very own coffee table book. I've been having exhibitions all over the world and the one thing that I believe is missing is this book. When you mix art and music together like you've done here, it's just phenomenal. That's a great video. And was that the was that Alan Toussaint? You that know. was Alan Toussaint, yeah. And he just passed, was it yesterday or before? He passed away on Monday in Spain, actually. That's, he was one of the greats. How did you meet uh, a guy like yeah. him? Well, I've been going to the New Orleans Jazz Festival for the last 20 years, and, mm -hmm. you know, this Instrument Head project is my art project, but I've been photographing album covers and concerts since I was 19. Um, so, you know, I, I made friends with most of the New Orleans musicians, and Alan actually came to my big exhibition in 2013, and... I was lucky enough to get that um, quote from him, and you know he's been. I, I did a photo shoot with him on his 70th birthday in New York, so it's been really amazing to get to work with. Yeah, with all like these that. all these greats. Exactly. And Bootsy Collins, I know you've worked with. You've got to have a Bootsy story. <laughs> Everybody who's ever worked with, right, John? Everybody's gonna be one. I mean, it was great. You know, the day two days before I went to Cincinnati to photograph Bootsy Collins. I had all my camera equipment stolen. Oh, no. So I had rented a studio, kind of like a space we're in now, and the photographer let me use his gear. And on the way to the photo shoot, you know, I was trying to figure out what I could, what kind of props I could bring in. So Bootsy had a band called Bootsy's Rubber Band. Right. So I went to Staples and bought like 2,000 rubber bands. <laughs> and so when we did the photo shoot, I had him throw rubber bands in the air. So, you know, it's kind of, uh, it, it was really simple and, and it really translates well in the photograph. Everybody else has drug stories about Bootsy. <laughs> Everybody else is like, I was with him yeah, and there was man, so man, much cocaine man. or something, you know? That's the story I always hear about Bootsy. The, uh, who's your favorite musician so far to photograph? I mean, I've done, I've photographed so many people. I like everyone for different reasons. Um, you know, I, I recently got to photograph Johnny, the great Johnny Winter. Oh, yeah. For that Instrument Head project and, you know, I, I photographed normal portraits of all these musicians as well, and I gave everyone free portraits used for their promo and trade. So what happens is, is we create all this content, and then an album will come out, and they'll say, oh, what about that photographer who did that instrument head shoot? So then right. they licensed the photo of Johnny for the album cover, which then won the Blues Grammy this year. So, That's huge. You know, um, Super cool. I really enjoy photographing people like Johnny, um, Alan Toussaint, Idris mm -hmm. Muhammad. Bobby Keys from the Rolling Stones. Of course. People who have passed away now, because I feel like the images that I shoot are historically important. 
And we have some of those here. Why don't you talk us through some of these folks? Are I know that uh, okay, so, because they're instrument head, we can't see their faces. Right. So this is a band called Soul Live, which is a three-piece band. Oh, Eric Krasno. Eric Krasno, Neil Evans, and Alan Evans, their brothers. So you know they have a definite look. So if you knew this band, you would know that that was them. Uh huh. Okay. On the left-hand side, you have Mickey Hart from the Grateful Dead, um, and he's got a drum head that he painted. He always known for wearing the gloves. He has a Steal Your Face, which is the Grateful Dead logo. Right. And that's on the left hand side is the beam. It's a special instrument he created. I think any Grateful Dead fan knows about the beam. Absolutely. On the far left is Derek Trucks. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. He's Derek the Trucks. tribe master. Um, yeah. On the far right is a woman named Sasha Dobson, and she sings with Nora Jones. And I'm going to guess he's in the middle there. <laughs> Even with all the rubber bands. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. With all the rubber bands. Exactly. Um, we have Uncle Lionel Batiste. He is a he just passed away. He used to um, lead the second lines in New Orleans. Uh -huh. When people die, they celebrate them by having, you know, big parades. And right. he was one of the guys who would lead the parade. In the middle is Scott Avett from the Avett Brothers. And then on the far left is Nikki Glaspie, who used to be the drummer for Beyonce's band. Oh. Went on to perform with a band called Dumpster Funk and now. Oh, has of course, I've seen Dumpster Funk. Band called the Nth Power. Yeah, of course, very cool. The um, so, how do you get the instruments to kind of suspend in the air? Because you, you're, it looks like they're not holding them up. Is is it fishing line from the ceiling? What's your magical trick? Yeah, they're either hanging or they're holding them or they're down their shirts. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so why do you, why that? Why do you want to hide their face? Well, it, it became a thing where originally I would, I would get people to put their guitar down their shirt just to kind of create some emotion in the studio, get them mm -hmm. to do something. And then I would always do it. It would be like a lick that I would do, like a guitar player would do right. play his guitar. So I picked up a book in 2008 called The Disciples, where this photographer named James Mullison had photographed fans of bands mm. and the whole idea was to guess what band they were the fan of oh willie nelson fans had braids right you know dolly parton right. fans had cowboy hats and blonde hair right um marilyn manson fans looked like marilyn manson right oasis fans looked like bob dylan right right so i thought to myself well how could i create a guessing game with the musicians themselves you know living in new york city as a photographer you got to try really hard to find your voice as an artist because all the best people in the world are there so I started doing this instrument head project and started tapping my network and uh, getting people to come over and the results have been great and it's just really fun, you know, people love to do something different. Very cool. And John, why did you bring Michael in to photograph the bands you're working with here and the bands you're promoting? Well, one, we, we, I mean, we, we became instant friends when I met him at Jazz Fest a few years ago, but I mean, he's one of the best in the business and um, the noms. Uh, just needed some help in that regard and he was out here recently coming through town and I said hey why don't you come back and and then also just the opportunity to to get a couple of local great musicians that we have involved in his instrument head project so James Whiten mm -hmm. is going to do an instrument head and Joaquin Insinius and Vicente Griego from some other great locals well, it sounds great yeah and then don't forget to check out out check out Indiegogo you can look up Michael Weintraub you can find the book there and then we'll be back in a couple of seconds we got the kids from TEDx youth I want to talk to them about what it's like as a you know high school student yeah, to go through kids out there sounds great. like fun doesn't yeah. it we'll be back in a couple of seconds in the morning brew with friends